need computer training for a group or office, contact us today to get a free demo of our training at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing. Version CS4 first introduced the Adjustments panel, which consolidates the adjustments you can perform from the menu bar into one easy access panel. The Adjustments panel also allows you access to the various controls of each adjustment and eliminates the dialog boxes when using the menu bar. If it's not already visible, you can view it by selecting Window and then Adjustments from the menu bar. The icons at the top of the panel represent the various adjustments that we talked about in the last lesson. You can roll your mouse pointer over these icons to view the name of the adjustment. Now if you click on one of those icons, it selects it and applies the adjustment layer right away, which you would then be able to see over in the Layers panel. Below the icons are a list of adjustment presets that you can choose from if you wish. Click on the small gray arrows here next to the preset names to expand and collapse the various options. And again, clicking on any one of these presets will apply the adjustment layer right away. At the bottom left of the panel, there's also a button to collapse or expand the adjustment panel for easier viewing right here. Now, if you want to apply the adjustment to certain layers, you use the Clip to Layer button in the bottom right-hand corner. To do so, select your adjustment and then click the Clip to Layer button to attach it to that layer. Click the button again and you'll apply the adjustment to all the layers below it in the Layers panel. After you make a selection, the controls for that particular adjustment appear in the panel and it's here where you make your changes. Now notice that the bottom of the panel changes as well and presents us with different icons. First, you can click the left pointing arrow if you want to add another adjustment layer on top of the current one. That will take you back to the list of icons and presets. You can switch back to the current adjustment setting by clicking the right pointing arrow that takes its place. After the arrow, we have the expand and collapse command and then the clip to layer button, and then the visibility icon. This works the same way as the layers panel. You can toggle the visibility of the layer on and off with this button. Once you've made a change to the adjustment layer using the controls in the panel, you can then click and hold the previous state button. We'll go ahead and make a change here and you can click and hold that button so that you can see the state before you made the change. Just release it then and you'll see it after the change. Now after that the next button we have is the reset button right here that allows you to return the adjustment to the original setting. And then finally there's the familiar trash can icon to delete the adjustment layer you've created, you just click the delete button here and that will delete the adjustment layer. You can save some adjustments you make as presets for future use. You can save presets for levels, curves, exposure, hue and saturation, black and white, channel mixer, and selective color. After you apply the adjustment, so just go ahead and apply an adjustment. Open the Adjustment Panel's options, clicking that button. Then select Save and then Names Preset. So select Levels Preset, select Hue Saturation Preset, whatever it happens to be. And you would be presented with the Save dialog box. You save your preset with a descriptive name in the Name text box down here. And then you would click Save. And once those are saved, you can load them again by clicking the Options button and then say Loads Level Preset as well. Like what you see? Get a free demo of our training for groups of five or more at www.teachucomp.com 
forward slash enterprise dash licensing.